Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. I hope you are well, your host, Lord of the Rings, Lord Famous Fortunes. We're going to continue with part two today. Part two of Does Megan Call Royal Narcissists? And we have some more royals to throw in the mix today. I actually really enjoyed yesterday's episode, so I'm going to continue. And we've had some good suggestions in the comments. So with that said, let's go. We're going to start with Princess Anne. Does Meghan Markle call, you know, privately to Harry and others, does she call Princess Anne a narcissist? Let's check it out. Let's jump in. If you are new to the channel, then let it be known. A subscription to Famous Fortunes brings a lifetime of good luck and good fortune. Isn't that, hasn't that been true? <laughs> hasn't that been true? It has been true in many respects. So let's go. Let's go and ask the question now. Let's go and ask the question. Does she call Princess Anne a narcissist behind closed doors to Harry and others? Does she refer to Princess Anne as a narcissist? If you recall yesterday, the big bicky was William. She definitely refers to William as a narcissist. So says the tarot. But we're going to find out some more royals right now. Cards are hot. Okay, so the Two of Cups, Nine of Cups, Four of Coins. Okay, interesting. Three of uh, Swords and Ten of Wands. That's come up a bit, actually. And the Magician. So she, I don't know if she would call her a narcissist, but she would call, definitely call her selfish and self-interested here with the Four of Coins. Selfish, self-interested, self-satisfied, Smug. I mean, all these types of words I'm seeing here. Uh, and uh, what's this? What's this card here? These two cards are interesting as well. This three of swords. What would be the word for this? Uh, these two cards. Mm, what would she call her for the three of swords? It would be cold hearted. That's what I'm getting. Cold hearted here. And um, stubborn. I'm getting cold-hearted and stubborn. That's what I'm getting from these two cards. Okay, so so that's that. And it's interesting that she's only... This is... The friendships are based on self-interest. I think that's what she's saying. That's what she's thinking here or saying about her Princess Anne, interestingly. The Magician is... You know, I'm getting putting on a facade, I guess, you know, and everything's based on self-interest, you know, <laughs> fair enough. Okay, so <laughs> let that be known. All right, let's move on now. Sophie, let's have a look. What does she privately say about Sophie? Does she call Sophie a narcissist? Let's go and have a look. Cards are hot. We have all the gaslighting cards coming up. Here we go. A bit of gaslighting energy underlying. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Empress card. Interesting. Okay. We also have the Tower. Oof. 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 And we have the Justice card. Okay. So some fa fairly serious uh I would say almost derogatory remarks being made. I mean, the critical doesn't quite cut it. I would say derogatory. Marks, remarks that are totally derogatory and cursing her out, you know, like with foul language. Foul language is probably coming in here. And uh, bitter, she calls it bitter, perhaps. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, bitter and... Uh, what's the word here? Bitter and... What am I getting with justice? I'm getting... Wow, oh, this is next level. Uh, I'm getting... You know, she sort of... By this card being here with the Empress, it's kind of like she's saying Sophie is overestimating her social status kind of thing. Uh, that's kind of the the vibe I get here. A little bit. That That's a little bit what's going on. And that she, Sophie, somehow needs sort of, I don't know, some, what does she think? She needs some sort of correction or some sort of putting her in her right place. <laughs> That's, maybe she also thinks Sophie's, oh no, she's gaslighting about Sophie. That's what it is. Okay, fair enough. All right, all right, interesting. Let's move on. Prince Edward, let's have a look. He's next. 
is it most I think this is probably the most fascinating readings I've done for quite a while actually. For me personally, anyway. You may the audience may feel different, but for me certainly that's how I'm feeling. Prince Edward, what does Meghan Markle refer to Prince Edward as? Does she refer to him as a narcissist? What is the go? Cards are hot. Cards are hot. Knight again, self interested. Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. The Tower again. Wow. This is a very strong energy. And Justice again here for the um, Three of Cups. Maybe there's also an energy here of she sort of maybe saying to Harry that. Sophie and Ed would have somehow been wronged. Maybe there's an element of that I'm kind of seeing now. Now it's coming up for both of them. They've been wronged somehow and, you know, they've worked hard. They're hard workers and all the rest of it. And they deserve more or something along those lines. I can kind of see how that's coming into play here. No wonder we saw the gaslighting card just previously. But uh, it's starting to kind of make sense in my mind, actually, these cards that are coming up. It's kind of like they're... You know, see, look, maybe maybe it's along the lines of, see, they worked hard and weren't rewarded in the end. They were done over. They didn't get what they were due, you know, on all the rest of it. So, you know, that's kind of the, the, the gaslighty angle on that one, I would imagine, from these cards. All right, let's have a look. Next up, Princess Andrew. <laughs> Princess Andrew. <laughs> princess Andrew. That's a good, that's a good one. Uh, I know he's a prince. I do know this. <laughs> prince... Princess Andrew. Let's have a look at Princess Andrew next. Uh, does Meghan Markle refer to Princess Andrew as a narcissist? That's going to be interesting. One. We'll look at Fergie in a second. I think that's probably worthwhile. Let's go. Prince Andrew. Cards are hot. Ah, we have the Empress, the Lovers. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, boy. Five of coins, uh, the Hermit and the Eight of Cups. Temperance is the underlying energy. Now, I don't know if this symbolizes or sort of represents a relationship that Megan had once with Andrew, because it's very possible with the Lovers and the Empress here. But it'll, you know, that's actually very possible. I know some people are going to ask that based on these cards. I'd say it's quite likely. It's, if it's if there's truth in that, then here it is on the cards. But uh, it, it also too, it's. I think there's a certain ele uh, element of him. She in she doesn't refer to him as a narcissist. Interestingly, uh, interestingly enough, but does refer to him as sort of maybe broke, uh, <laughs> broke. You know, no money, that type of thing. Uh, it's possible, or excluded from the royal family. He's another one being excluded. So I'm getting a theme maybe that there's sort of her, I don't know, she's painting this picture of um, of Andrew and Edward as somehow being treated unfairly, perhaps? Although it's less treated unfairly in this one than with Andrew, excuse me, than with Edward and Sophie, but with Andrew, it's more like, yeah, he's been excluded. But it's kind of maybe she uses this to sort of paint this picture of Harry. You know, everything they do is 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 painted a certain way. It's painted a certain way. It's like it's like a hopeless addict, right? This is an analogy. I'm not saying uh, Andrew when he wants a hopeless addict. I'm saying uh, it's like a hopeless drug addict, and people are trying to get them help, and then the addict turns around and says, "You're trying to control me." Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like it's kind of like that situation. You can spin anything, right? You can spin anything. Even if you're hopelessly addicted, you're killing yourself, you know, you've been to hospital twice or you maybe more, you know, I don't know how many times, but, you know, and then some people trying to help you. Oh, no, you, it's coercive control, trying to help me, trying to help me is coercive control. It's amazing how you can spin things. I'm sure there'll be some people that would say it's coercive control. They'd, you know, they should be allowed to just, you know, blow themselves up with drugs. Maybe, maybe, but that's, you know, also there's a lot of people... Unfortunately, I'd, I'd say this to that, to that, I would say if I was hopelessly addicted to drugs, I was harming myself, was risking my life. I'd pray to God that someone would just literally force me out of that situation. If I was addicted, some things can be so addictive, it's almost impossible to give them up. 
uh, give them, you know, whatever people, people get to that state. I really, you know, I'd hope for an intervention rather than, oh no, it's fine. You can, you've got so much freedom. You can just off yourself, but that's another story for another time and another discussion for another time. But in any event, I would say this, that she doesn't refer to him as a narcissist. And that's very interesting. So he's now the sort of the exiled Royal. He's an exiled Royal. I'm almost a pity party, to be honest, almost a pity party for him. And that's what I'm seeing a little bit there, which I find extremely interesting. Those cards are extremely interesting. All right, we've had a little chat. Let's move on now to who's next. Yeah, now we're in the zone. Let's do Be Beatrice. Let's have a look. Does she refer to Beatrice as a narcissist? Let's go. Let's go. I was watching a documentary on Afghanistan. And he says, There's a particular street where they buy and sell heroin in Afghanistan and all the addicts go there to get their heroin right and the, the police come and they take them and they put them into rehab for 40 days they come out clean they come out completely clean <laughs> that's what can I say <laughs> say what you want about them but hey I mean they they fix their addicts up I tell you let's uh let's, let's go let's go I, I know so I, I really hope no one takes umbrage of what I'm saying but anyway it's all possible uh, let's go with, um, let's go with, uh, what are we looking at? We're looking at uh, Beatrice. Beatrice. Say what you want about Afghanistan. I thought that was something nice they do. Really help them out. Cards are hot. Heroin's no joke. Let's have a look. Beatrice. Is Beatrice a narcissist according to Meghan Markle? The tower again coming up. Oh, wow. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. The tower. It's just extremely interesting this card keeps coming up. Eight of cups the hermit and the magician almost like almost like she, there's almost an energy which she's saying look at all these people that have had downfalls in the family of of, of in, a, in a way i mean you know she's saying it it's, it's like a common theme they are excluded they're outcast as well don't worry harry it's fine you know they do it to everyone i mean i'm almost seeing that as a sort of theme now in these cards it's like the pity party the pity party. It's not our actions. It's nothing we're doing. They're doing it to everyone. That seems to be a bit of a theme that's coming up. So does she think that Beatrice is a narcissist? I'm not seeing that. This is all a sort of a thing. This is all a thing. Let's move on. Eugenie. Eugenie. It's an interesting energy to that name. Eugenie, isn't it? When you think about it. Eugenie. 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 Oh, I mean, almost get you. Ginny is a very uh, strong G sound in there. I call it, yeah, Eugenie. Basically, it's Genie, right? Which which is comes from the word. Really, it's an it's a, a Semitic word meaning spirit. <laughs> Eugenie. It's what it, it's it's the origin of the word. So let's um let's go and ask: Is Eugenie a narcissist according to Megan Markle? Cards are hot. Entity, let's say entity, entity. The devil. Oh, here we now we have a hit. Where's the swear jar? The world. Get the swear jar. The nine of wands. The ten of swords. Oh, can't have a relationship with her. She's a narcissist. I got burnt by a narcissist on that one. Nine of coins, eight of cups. Have to pull back on that one. Where's the swear? Is it? Get the swear jar. Get the donation happening to the swear jar because it's it's all happening today, folks. Oh, I thought we'd see more swear jar action, to be honest, but no, here we are. So, yes, is... Now, I don't know the politics between Megan, Eugenie, and Beatrice. I don't know. And... But here it is. Here it is. So, you know, she's quite light on Beatrice, I thought, but Eugenie, no, she's definitely in the narcissist bin. Uh, and... What's this here? The whole world knows she's a narcissist? Everyone knows? Everyone knows. And, you know, I was burnt by her... She ended the relationship, maybe. Maybe she even says... Maybe she even claims Eugenie ended the relationship. That's possible. Um, or something along those lines. Or oh, maybe she had to end it, you know, and walk away underlying energy because she was so narcissistic in the end. So, I don't know. I, I would say things are probably not going so well with... with What's her name? Eugenie and um, Megan. R oh, what did I read in the comments today? Someone said... R rags to riches, Ragland, calling Ragland rags, and I, and I said, I thought it was pretty funny, Ragland to riches, that's a good title for a video, 
an episode of Famous Fortunes. That's a good title. Raglan to Riches. Maybe we'll do something along those lines. But okay, so apparently um, Eugenie is a narcissist. Confirmed, according to the tarot in Megan. Let's go. Moving on. Next. Who's next? I do have a list and I wanted to cover. Yeah, let's look at Zara. Let's look at Zara and then we'll look at Mike. Zara and Mike. We'll finish up with them this particular episode. Does Megan Mike refer to Zara as a narcissist? Let's go. Cards are hot. Cards are hot. We've got <laughs> the tower. Wow, the tower again. Another, another, wow. Wow, temperance, the tower. How many tower cards have we seen now? Uh, strength, nine of coins, and the king of swords, four of coins. Yeah, selfish, self-interested, maybe a bit power hungry. Mm, social, I'm getting social climbing in here as well for some reason. But, uh, the tower is quite a, you know, she wouldn't have any nice words to say. I think that's kind of, with these tower cards, it'd be very, a very sort of, you know, and even also sort of a, a, I don't know, what's the story? Is is it true that Zara, could she say Zara's had some type of downfall in the royal family or, you know, it wasn't promoted enough or something along those lines? Possibly that as well. Possibly that, but yeah, not so there's quite strong, very critical, even perhaps, or aggressive energy sort of coming in here as well with Zara. Very interesting how many times we've seen this tower card come up. Let's finish off with Mike. Let's have a look at Mike. 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 If I was hanging out with the Royals, I'd probably hang out with Mike, to be honest with you. That's that would be the thing. I guess. Just to let you know where I'd fit in. That would be, it'd be Mike and I acting the goose. That would be. <laughs> what can I say? Let's have a look. Throw some cards. Mike, is he a narcissist going to be Megan Michael? Let's go. Cards are hot. Whoa, nine of, nine of wands. The Hierophant. Seven of swords. Oh, interesting. Eight of Wands and the Justice card again coming up. King of Cups. What's this here? Is it saying some type of, yeah, he's, you know, hard done by as well somehow? You know, some the royal family took something from him. Uh, and, you know, he's been untreated unfairly. I'm really seeing this as a strong theme with this ex the extended royals, let's say. The non-essential royals. <laughs> Remember that a few years ago, right? Non-essential. People are non-essential. You know, you're, non you're a non-essential people. Uh, which is quite a frightening thing to say. But in any event, isn't it true that all jobs are essential? But okay, whatever. All right. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a weird thought process to think, really. You think about it. Your job's not essential. All right. I mean, the number one non-essential jobs, of course, politicians. But okay, moving forward, society would go on without them, and probably much, you know, less restrained and much more happier. But in any event, in any event, it'd be less world wars. I tell you that much. All right. The number one unessential job in the world is a politician. So let's let's move forward now, and uh, and actually, no, we're at the end of the line. That's the end of the line. He's been hard done by. The royals have taken something from him, and you know all of it. So okay, there's a very there's a very much a theme coming in here. If you have a question for a future episode of Famous Fortunes, let it be known in the comments. And with that, I will see you in the comment section.